digital greeting cards are great digital products to sell on Etsy because they're super easy and fun to create. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create printable greeting cards in Canva and upload them to your Etsy shop. Hi, I'm Sandra, and I help you build fun and creative side hustles online to generate some extra income. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell for more content just like this. The best thing about selling printables is that they're passive products meaning you create them once and then sell them over and over again. And when customers purchase your printable, you don't have to send them a physical product. They're going to download it and then print it on their end. In this tutorial, I'm going to create a cute birthday card, but keep in mind you can create all sorts of greeting cards for your shop. It just depends on what you want to offer. So let's hop onto my computer and get started and you can follow along step by step. If you are not creating your own graphics from scratch, you can download Download beautiful fonts and graphics with a commercial license so that you can resell them in your products. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using these graphics that I downloaded from Creative Fabrica. I absolutely love it. It's super cute. And I downloaded this font that I'll be using in my greeting card. I absolutely love Creative Fabrica. They have a huge library of fonts and graphics that you have a commercial license to under a super affordable subscription. And I actually partnered with them to give you guys a free trial. You can grab that down below. It will give you your first 10 downloads absolutely for free. Your subscription will renew after a month, but you can cancel at any time. Now, if you don't have a Canva account, you can sign up for free using your email. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using a couple of pro features. You don't have to use the pro features if you don't want to, but if you do want to test them out, I have a free 30 day trial link for Canva in the description box below. The first thing I want to do is design the front and back of my greeting card. So I'm going to go to create a design go to custom size. Let's change this to inches and we're going to do a five by seven greeting card. That's the standard size of a greeting card. You can also do a four by six inches. I noticed some Etsy shops offer both sizes. And to be honest, I would probably offer both sizes, but for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to stick to this size. Let's click on create new design. And now I've got my artboard that I can design on. The first thing I'm going to do is duplicate the page just so that the back is ready for me. Once I start designing this. To get started, I'm going to click on uploads and this is where you can upload any graphics that you've either created from scratch or any images, graphics that you have downloaded from a platform like Creative Fabrica. So you can see I've already uploaded some of the rainbows from that package and I really like this one. So this is the one I'm going to use. Let's just kind of center that in the middle for now. And then I just want to add a little heart in the middle so I can create a heart from scratch using illustrator or whatever it may be. But since we're sticking to Canva in this tutorial, let's go to elements and I can click on heart. And there are some features that you are allowed to use for free in Canva. Whenever you find an element that you really like, just click on the three dots here and then select this for more information. And it will tell you how you are allowed to use this element. I always recommend reading their licensing terms if you have any questions. So I'm going to select this heart here. So let's bring that right here to the middle and I'm just going to zoom in. Okay. And I'm just going to change the color of this heart. All right, let's add some text. So let's go to a text and let's bring this down here. Let's go wishing you a happy. I'll put that in capitals. Now I want to change the font to the one that I downloaded from Creative Fabrica. So I'm going to go up to the top here. Now, if you're only using the free version, there are fonts that you can use for free that Canva offers. But if you want to upload a font, you do need the pro version to do that. You just go to upload a font right here. So I've already done that with bakery shop. So I'm going to use that one. Now I just want to make this a little bit larger. Okay. Now I'm just going to change the spacing because that's quite large. So let's just bring that closer together here. Okay. That looks good. Now let's add in some more text, but with a different font. So let's put in birthday and I want to make it really colorful. So what I'm going to do is alternate the colors of the rainbow. So I'm just going to highlight each letter and go to text color. And what's great is Canva actually shows me the photo color. So I'm just going to alternate each color of the rainbow. OK, 
Okay, that looks really cute. So I'm just going to highlight everything, go up to the top here to position and just make sure that everything is centered in the middle. Okay, that's super cute for the front. Now I'm gonna go on to the back. So I'm just going to use a couple of the graphics from the same package. So let's put in this cute little cloud, add in the sun, and I'm just going to send the sun to the back. And I'm just going to lighten the color just cause I'm kind of going for more of like a pastel color, I guess. So I'm just gonna go to transparency and change this to 50%. Okay, now I just want like an all over print of the heart that I created on the front, but with all the colors of the rainbow. So I'm just going to copy that heart and then paste it here. And then I'm just going to add in a bunch of hearts everywhere and then change the colors. Now, just so that you're not watching me constantly copying and pasting a bunch of hearts and changing the colors, I'm going to finish that off and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so here's the back of my greeting card. I think it's super cute with the heart print everywhere. And then there's the front. Now what I wanna do is actually create the file that my customer is going to download after they purchase. And I wanna make it really easy for them to print, cut, and then fold it in half. So I'm gonna go to uh, back to the homepage of Canva go to create a design, custom size to inches, but this time I'm going to do an eight and a half height and then a width 11. So this is a standard US letter size file. So let's go to create new design. Now I'm gonna to go to elements and I'm going to add in a rectangle at seven inches high and 10 inches wide. So that's because the height of my greeting card is seven inches and then the width is five inches, right? But when you multiply that by two for the front and the back, it's 10 inches. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now let's go to the color here and select this one for no color. Let's go to the border style and I'm going to select this dashed line because then they'll know this is the line that they need to cut. And border weight is really, really thick. So let's do 0.5. And now I'm just going to center this exactly in the middle. So let's go to position and then center. Okay, great. Now I'm actually just going to lock this so that I'm not moving it around when I copy and paste the front and back of my greeting card. So let's go ahead and lock it in place. All right, so back to my greeting card design, the best way I could figure out how to transfer this over and make sure that it's centered is this way. So I'm gonna go to elements and then just drag this rectangle just so that it's exactly five by seven inches. I'm going to send it to the back and I'm gonna select everything, okay? So again, you can follow along exactly how I'm doing this. So copy and then paste. So I'm just gonna group this together first. And basically I'm just trying to center it exactly at this corner. Because again, when they fold it, I wanna make sure that the front and the back are exactly centered. And once I've gotten that, I could just delete this box. I don't need it, I know that it's centered. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the back now. So I'm just gonna copy and paste this, send it to the back. And there we go, that's the file that I'm going to now save as a PDF and then upload it to my Etsy shop later. So I'm just going to remove these boxes now and I'm gonna go to share and I'll go to PDF print. It says best for printing, so this is the one I'm going to select. I'm going to flatten the PDF because it tells me here that flattening it can help ensure that it prints properly. And then I'm going to select CMYK, that's best for printing. Now this is a pro feature, so you can just use the 30 day free trial. And to be honest, if you are planning to make a business out of selling printables, I do recommend investing in Canva. So I'm going to go ahead and select that and click download. My next step is to create beautiful images of my printable, so let's go ahead and do that next. If you're getting value from this video so far, hit that like button and let me know in the comments what kind of greeting cards you want to offer in your shop. First thing you need to do is download JPEG files of your designs because then we're going to transfer it into the images. So let's go to share and then click on JPEG this time. And if you have the pro account, you can increase the quality of the JPEG if you'd like. So I'm just going to, for now, download the first page. So let's go ahead and do that. And then for the other one as well, I'm going to download JPEG file for this as well. Etsy recommends having a minimum of 2000 pixels wide for the shortest side for your images. So let's go ahead and create a design 
and keeping it to pixels, I'm gonna do 2,500 by 2,000 pixels. So first thing I wanna do is just have some sort of background. And if I go into elements, I kind of want like some sort of like, just uh, whether it's a gray wall or gray floor or whatever it may be. So I'm just going to type in gray wood floor. And under graphics, I'm gonna click on see all. Now you can see that some of them are pro and then some of them are free. So you can just go ahead and browse through these. After browsing through a bunch, I chose this one here. I really like that. So let's just make it a little bit lighter. Go to transparency and let's make that 80%. Now under uploads, I've already uploaded the JPEG files of my designs. So now I could just click on this. And what I'm gonna do is add in a drop shadow. So I'm gonna go to edit image and let's actually use glow. And I just want that a little bit larger. So let's make the size larger. And I'm just, you could just play with the features here, the size, transparency, and blur, just to give it like a nice like drop shadow effect and click apply. All right, I like that. So now I just wanna put like an envelope on the back. So let's go to elements and click on envelope. I kind of like this orange one because it kind of matches my actual card. So let's go ahead and use that. And I'm just going to make it kind of angled. Let's send it to the back and let's give this a drop shadow as well. Okay, so now let's add in some text. So I'm just going to let them know that this is a printable. So it's really, really important that you're very clear that this is a digital download. So let's go ahead and add in some text. Okay, now I kind of want to add in kind of like a ribbon on the back. So let's go ribbon. All right, that looks good. Now I'm just going to create my second image and this time I'm going to add in the front and back so that they know that that's the file that they're receiving. So let's go ahead and drag that in and I'm just going to follow the same process again, uh, adding in a drop shadow and then adding in some text. Okay, so this is my second image. I've just put in print on US letter size, and then I'm just letting them know that they can cut and fold to a five by seven inch card. Now, I would probably add in just a couple of more images, maybe showing the back of the card when it's folded as well, but this is good for now for the sake of this tutorial. So I'm just going to now download these as JPEG files that I can now upload to my Etsy shop. Just before we head over to Etsy, I wanted to show you another way that you can create printables. It's actually a new feature called Spark on Creative Fabrica. So if you go to Spark on their homepage, click on Create Designs, and I've actually created another greeting card here that I wanna show you, it's really, really cute. But basically, you would type in a prompt in this search bar. So a prompt would be like a sentence that describes exactly what you want to see. And then Spark will generate a bunch of images for you that you can use in your products to resell as well, as long as you have a subscription. Now, this is included within your 10 free downloads as well. So my example here is I've already searched this prompt, as you can see, a cute puppy wearing a birthday hat. They're just so adorable. So now every time you do search even the same prompt, you get different images every single time. So even if I type in cute puppy wearing a birthday hat and it's generated all these super adorable images for me. So let's say if I want this one, I would click publish and then I can download it and then upload it into Canva. Now, if you want examples on how to actually structure your prompts, the more specific you can get, the better. So here are some examples for you. And you can even go into the prompt book, which will give you some more examples as well. If you want unlimited access to these images, you would just click on speed up creation and then you can sign up for their subscription. Now I've already downloaded this one here onto Canva. So let me show you the card. So as you can see, I've uploaded the image into Canva right here and I just added in some text. 
For this card, I would probably just keep the back blank, but I would follow the same process that we've already done in this tutorial. So it's just another way for you to create printables, whether it's printable wall art, printable greeting cards, printable planners, or whatever it may be. So adding a listing to your Etsy shop is pretty straightforward. Just go into your shop manager and then click on listings, and then you'll see a button that says add a listing on the top right corner. So I've already added in the couple of images that we have created. So here's the first one, and here is the second one. So my pro tip here here is to also add in images that include information and details about your listing. So I found a really, really good example here. This shop did an incredible job in explaining exactly what the customer is going to be receiving. You don't have to make your image look exactly like this. It's just an example of letting the customer know exactly what they're getting, how to cut out their card, etc. And for every single one of the printables I sell in my shop, I have sort of like images that have all that information as well. So when I scroll down, I'm not gonna go through the title and the description. If you do want a full tutorial on how to write out a description for your listing, you can check out this video next. I will link it down below for you. So again, I've just kept this very, very basic. Just make sure that you do click on digital so that it allows you to upload a digital file. Because what happens is, once the customer purchases your listing, they're going to receive an email from Etsy allowing them to download the file that you've uploaded here. So I've already uploaded the birthday card download, which just as a reminder, it's this file here. Another pro tip I have for you here is I would actually upload another file, whether it's a digital thank you card for your customer, maybe offering them a coupon code for their next purchase, or maybe some information on how to download their file, how to print it and how to cut it out. That's a really nice touch that a lot of shop owners don't do. Just click on publish and you're done. Your greeting card is public and it's ready to be sold in your shop. Don't forget to sign up for your free Creative Fabrica trial using the link in the description box below. You get your first 10 downloads absolutely for free, so make them count. If you are working on your printable shop, you can grab my free checklist. I will link that down below for you. Now, if you want to know my full process on how I validate, create, and upload printable planners on Etsy, be sure to check out this video next, and I will see you there.